Hey guys, Dean here. So I'm going to show you how to download this client called the Solvia client. This is a Minecraft client, which is a non-premium client, which means you can install it without having to actually subscribe to premium, but there is a premium feature enabled. So basically, this is a Minecraft launcher, which supports 1.8.9 to 1.19.2. I'm not 100% sure if it does go up to 1.20 just yet, because it has been out for a while, but we'll have a look at the versions once we install it. Now this boasts an FPS boost, a built-in anti-cheat and cosmetics features which I believe are locked for the premium subscribers but it's a fairly decent launch in, in terms of performance and I've seen a lot of people been talking about this recently and a few of my subscribers asking me about it so I thought I'd just do a tutorial on it and I'll be doing some more tutorials on some more launches in the coming days. So as you can see I'm just going to give you a quick overview so it's an all-in-one launcher with a performance boost so if you guys are struggling to get high FPS this may be a solution for you guys to at least try out. It's secure, it has a client-side anti-cheat to try and stop people from cheating and if we scroll down you can see the performance levels it boasts that it works better than Optifine to give you a performance boost. Now, I haven't tried both of these and made them compete against each other, so I don't know if this is true, if it actually gives you better performance than just using Optifine, but this is when running on 1.8.9, which is an older version, so do bear that in mind. So, as we scroll down, you can see a few of the features. You can see the version selector over here when you download and install the game, and a few of the options on here. So, when you set up the launcher, obviously, there's certain third-party plugins you install. So, it has so-called client-side mods. Some of them are official mods I believe off CurseForge but I think most of them are custom bespoke mods made just for that launcher so we're talking things like displaying your FPS displaying your armor pieces on the game's hood for the character and so many more things like that which are great for PvP so there's a few client side mods I'll show you those very soon so let's go ahead and just press download we're going to go ahead and download the client over here and then there's a few options so first of all the Windows 64 bit is just for people obviously with Windows and that's only going to support 64 bit but if you're either on Linux Linux as an operating system, Mac OS X, so Mac users, or if you have a 32-bit Windows machine, all three of those options, then I recommend downloading the universal one because this is actually a Java-based launcher. So I'm going to go ahead and just download that and I'm going to save that. So now what you want to go ahead and do is we're going to install that 32-bit version. So just double click on the launcher.jar we've just downloaded. So this is the Java edition. It will work same on the Windows 64-bit, but it will just be a .exe file instead. But it's basically just the same thing. It's just an installer and it's going to download the actual client files first of all and then it's going to actually allow us to go through the steps to install it. So we've now opened it. Now this isn't actually the Solvia launcher itself because we need to actually get onto the home screen first but it says a new launcher is available for Windows, new design, new monetization system for supporting the developers. So we can download it on solvia.com and that will direct us. So if you get that error message it's just going to direct you to the download page again. So we can download the Windows 64-bit version because it's asking me to download that probably because of my machine. If you are on the other systems I believe you'll probably be able to bypass that and use the Java one, but you'll have to let me know in the comments. So we're just going to try the Windows 64-bit one, which works with my machine anyway, and I'm going to show you the steps once we downloaded that. So now we're going to just double-click our setup in the Downloads folder on Windows or wherever your files download from Chrome and just press Run. And this actually first opens the installer. So I'm just going to install this just for my PC, and I'm going to install this, press Next and Next, and then wait for it to finish and tick Run Solvia Launcher, and it's going to allow us to run it directly from the installer itself. Itself. So then the launch is going to open. Now it's a fairly simplistic launcher, okay? It's kind of basic. We have the news feed on the left hand side, which shows news about updates to the launcher and new content that they've added, and also support for new versions of Minecraft, like they had support for 1.19 over here. And if we scroll up, the last update was actually on the third month of this year. So I believe this is slightly outdated, even though there's a lot of people asking about this launcher. Then change logs, you can see the last update was also February. So this launcher is a little bit outdated, guys, if you wanted to play on the newest version but it is actually quite a strong client if you're playing on servers that support old minecraft versions which is most of them at this point including hypixel at the top they have social media now the cog here at the top left is where we're going to assign our ram so if you're using the 64-bit launcher this is even better because then we can assign as much ram as we want i have i think 32 gigabytes on this pc is either 32 or 64 i think it's 32 i'm just going to assign 10 10 is the maximum this is dependent on your hardware though privacy settings you can obviously press manage and that can obviously 
allow them to track less of your data, for example, and you can untick this. So I'm just going to untick all these and not consent to any of them and just press save and exit. Then also here, this is the version. So when we click on the version, this allows us to install any version of Minecraft all the way back to 1.8. So 1.8.9, the most popular backdated version through to 1.9, all the way up to 1.19, 1.19.2. So then what we basically do is we select the version we want. I'm just going to install the newest one and we're going to click play. You're probably wondering where are all of the client side mods? Where do I install them here? Well, we don't do it in this point. So we're just going to click play here and download the game files for 1.19.2 first. And then I'll show you how to enable those client side mods in the launcher because this is kind of like the first launcher or the loader screen. And then we kind of get onto another pre-launcher screen before the actual game itself. It's kind of confusing, but you'll see in a few moments. So now we've downloaded the game, it'll pop up. And now it says Solvia Client 4 Minecraft 1.19.2. So you can see it has the game process and the version and then also Solvia Client. So then you know that you've obviously loaded straight into the client itself. So when the game loads, you'll have an additional loading bar and an additional logo and then watermark. And now we can register for an account or we can press do it later and skip. But bear in mind, if you do skip the account creation process is going to lock you out from a lot of different features. So then we have a choice from single player so we can add an account. So here's where you'll actually connect your Minecraft account if you want to play. Bear in mind, you do need to add your account if you want to play because this is not a cracked launcher. So there's nothing illegal about this launcher. It works officially in line with your Minecraft Mojang Microsoft account. So you do need to log in. Okay, so you log in here and add an account if you want to play single player or if you want to play multiplayer because if you connect to one of these servers by default, it won't actually allow you in because you don't have an account logged in but that's how you would connect then you have connect over here so that's how you'd also register later then there's a few different buttons so first we have shop so we need to actually create our solvia official account which i just showed you and then we can access shop partners and inventory so that's where you actually obtain the cosmetics if that interests you then we also have skins so this is obviously custom skins using the modded launcher so with solvia we can use like a range of custom cosmetics and skins same as the cosmetics then we have add-ons which i believe is either unavailable or it's grayed out because we haven't either logged in with our solver account or our minecraft account so it's one of the two then below we have options so these are the normal standard minecraft options so we can go in video settings as you can see we have all the optifine settings here so as well as the fps boost mods they claimed were better than optifine they do also have optifine because we have shader support here and we also have all the optifine gfx graphic settings so press done you can fine tune those if you have fps problems language is obviously just standard minecraft language support and then client here's the interesting part so some of these are only going to support various versions but if you want to install mods we can enable them here so we have global settings we can mess around with so for an example full bright mode extremely useful when you're underground and you're exploring so that's really nice to keep turned on then we can also go into 1.7.10 animations so you can use the old animations we have better sky so here we can change the speed the time of day and if we're going to use a real-time clock for the data and toggle it and also enable it in the end dimension to make it a little bit prettier just like the overworld block overlay is just like when we mine blocks is it going to have a fixed color when we hover over it is it going to run an animation like in the borders of it so like these colorful rainbow animations or are we going to have a custom color you can make it full like fill it you can just call the surface or the border itself so there's a lot of customization boss bear is also quite nice you can customize how the boss bar looks so if you're fighting like the ender dragon or the wither you can have a custom boss bar on it so we can modify the scale we can toggle on and off i don't think we can change the color though chat is something a lot of you guys will want to mess with though because we have emojis in here so we can change change the style we can make it transparent so it doesn't kind of like block any of the game out with this like faded overlay you can also put full here so it completely makes it an opaque background to the chat and we can also turn on smooth chat as well i prefer to keep it on transparent there's a few really cool features color saturation that's just so you can modify it think of this like when you edit a video you can put color grading or color correction effects on the video to make it look prettier and a little bit more vibrant you can do it here so you can mess with hue saturation vibrancy and brightness blue light and you can make the game Game really pop it's kind of like having your own shader on the game just like you're messing with photoshop but you're actually editing the visuals of the game so that's really nice crosshair this is going to be for you pvpers so do you want a cross circle square or arrow what colors outline colors and dots the size and the look do you want this is also a preview you can see down here so that's going to be in my crosshair then we also have high pixel mods so if you play in high pixel which most of you people using custom clients typically do because most people who just play in mods for modern minecraft that subscribe to me most of you guys aren't just using these random clients and unless you're playing like Hypixel or a PVP server, which is probably why you're on this video. So you can enable things like Auto GG, which is just saying good game if you like finish your duel or something. Anti GG, Auto Who, and Auto Friend. So you can turn on all these features. If you play Hypixel, you'll know what all this means. Name tags for visibility. We have notification.
applications, the particle mod. So this is combat particles. So you can basically increase the frequency of particles which display on like hit in combat. So you can kind of tell if you're getting a hit, which is quite nice. Performance, basically just turn on smooth frames and chunk update limiter and low settings. That's if you're having FPS problems, even with Optifine, this is going to further help you. Perspectives mod is just turning the camera around the player. So we can disable this and we can set the keybind for that here. And if you set it to toggle, you can just press the keybind to turn that on or off. So if you want to mess with the camera, you can do that. Scoreboard's quite nice as well because it just displays like all the data on a scoreboard so you can easily see it. Translation is if you play on foreign servers. So if you turn on automatic service translation and also translate when sending messages. So that's when you type in English, it'll translate it into that server's language or when that server talking a foreign language, it'll translate it to your language. So that's if you're playing on like a French server or a popular foreign server. Tag TNT, zoom mode. So this is where you can make the Optifine zoom a little bit better so you can make it smoother. You can enable scroll zoom so you can refine it more to zoom in and out a little bit more than you can by default. The movable mods, this is going to be things which are on the hood, which is the heads up display in game. So we have movable mod settings, so positioning and background settings, armor hood, so displaying the player's armor on the heads up display. And we can change the color of that as well. Change the animation just like we can before. So this is going to be for PVPers and people who just want data on the screen straight away. Coordinates always useful to share with your friends so they can actually find you in the overworld. Direction is basically just having a compass. So that's a compass north, east, south, west on the top of your screen. It doesn't have south, east, south, west, north, west, north, east, etc. It just has the main north, east, south, west, but you get the picture, right? And you can put it into different modes where it actually enables the sub coordinates or the full where you can see the actual numbers. So that's extremely useful, especially if you don't have like a minimap mod. I'd really recommend that. FPS display again, so you can see like is the smooth FPS and graphics mods actually help in my frame rate. Games timers is just for like servers with mini games. So that's also useful if you're playing on like mini game servers like Hypixel as well. Key mod is just to display the interaction. So I know like a lot of you guys who do PvP combat videos on like PvP servers, you want to kind of show your viewers or show your friends like which keys you're tapping, how quickly you're tapping certain keys. Like if you're a really good PvP player, maybe you want to make PvP guides that also help. So you can show those keys on your screen. So if I would press like WASD, it would show those on the screen and the frequency I'm pressing them. That's super useful. Kind of like a niche option, but you can turn on. Movement status, just simple. Shows you if you're moving or running. Ping just shows you if you're lagging on certain servers. Potion hood just shows the potion effects on the character. Reach shows the distance that you can actually reach objects. Time shows the current real time. And up displays the time since you actually started the solve your client. So you can enable any of these and just press these radio buttons to make sure the green to turn on any of these mods that you want. Then just press simply done and we can connect to a multiplayer or a single player server. And it's as simple as that to use solve your client. Now I haven't logged into an account, but just before we close out the video, you would press connect and then register for the Solvia website here. And then you can log in just using the same process. Then when you're logged into Solvia, when you go on single player, then click on add and then connect with Microsoft account. And this will bring up like a little login box and it'll allow you to actually log into your Microsoft account here to log into your Mojang account and connect it to the Solvia launcher. And then obviously you can then play on multiplayer and single player without any issues. So that's how to connect both accounts. That's how to enable mods on the launcher and in install it and enable FPS boosting graphics mods and just mods like quality of life mods for convenience. So hope this video is useful. Make sure to smash the like button and subscribe. And if you have any questions about this tutorial, leave them below in the comments and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible and answer all your questions. And I'll see you real soon.